What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Four Words Monday. I just had a video, but I didn't have my mic plugged in all the way, so there was no sound. Silly me. But I'm glad that you're back here with me, and I'm okay to do this again because I'll do this a hundred times over if I need to, just for you. But you're here with the valet, D Rock, your boy Delroy, and um, I'm glad that you're here with me. Just got back from Honduras, um, fresh back, reacclimating to life, getting ready for work tomorrow. So I'm glad that you guys have been with me. Hopefully, like uh, you've anticipated me coming back and seeing me again. Like I've anticipated coming back and talking to you. I know I just put my nose. You probably think that's nasty. Anyways, we're gonna keep this thing rolling. It's four words Monday, number twenty-four. Living to be known. And what do I have to say to you today? Today we're talking about breaking bad habits. We're talking about breaking old habits. We're talking about bad habits of eating and drinking and thinking and smoking and bad relationship habits and bad communication habits and bad financial habits. Why? Because we are here to move forward. We are here to let ourselves be known by others and to know others because it's living to be known and uh, we want to be everything we want to be and we want you to know everything that we want you to know just not your perception or your assumption or your own thoughts of who we are but letting the world and each other know who we are um, and being okay with that so let's just jump right into it breaking bad habits living to be known 24 you me and the world I'm glad you're out there. Thanks for keeping up with me, man. LivingToBeKnown.com, GenerationsOfEagles.Blogspot.com. Uh, did I say generations? GenerationsOfEagles.Blogspot.com. My Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and YouTube. Um, stick with me because I'm gonna stick with you. Okay? We're gonna keep doing this. So belief, knowledge, practice, relationship, communication, and finance. What do we have to say? Okay. Do you believe you have bad habits? Because if you don't there's no need for you to listen to this video. Listen to this video, okay? We all have some bad habits, and um, we need to acknowledge that we do, and we need to know what they are. We need to believe that we can have better habits, that we can do better, that we can grow, that we can move forward, okay? Become knowledgeable of those things. Um, examine yourself. Ask your friends and people who are close to you uh, what some of your habits are, what they think some of your bad habits are. Okay, and take that constructive criticism the right way. Don't just disagree and tell somebody what you think you want them to know because they know you. They watch you. They spend time with you every day. Okay, and then look at those habits. Examine those habits. Look at those practices and what you do and decide that you can make better choices, that you can have better practices that are going to aid to your success, to your benefit, and the benefit of those around you, okay? In your relationships, do you yell? Do you scream? Do you not listen? Do you argue? Do you communicate the truth? Do you tell people what? Um, do you say what you mean and mean what you say? Or do you just expect everybody to figure it out, okay? Um, in your communication, are you communicating clearly? Are you Forming the habit of communicating properly the things that you want people to know, that you want people to hear, and that you want people to respond to. And are you making good financial decisions, right? Have you formed habits that aid to your financial success? Or are you just spinning the wheels uh, and, you're, and you're spending in all those things? Now, we all have some bad habits. We all do some things that don't meet our own standard um, as well as others though others may not matter as much as yours now if you're a child and you have parents you're under 18 their standards may matter and they probably know more than you and they probably have done more than you and they probably don't all have bad to say to you but you know better so do better okay but in your belief knowledge and practice what are those bad habits in your communication, relationships, and finances, what are those bad habits? They can't get better. One thing I used to do when I was younger that helped aid to this, this form of thinking was I had some plastic chains that were in my room. And one day I broke those chains. 
And I told myself, yeah, chains do break. And I hung those chains up in my wall, and every day I would come in and I would look at them, and it would remind me that chains break. Some of us think that we are products of our parents and their bad habits, of our environment and those bad habits, of our upbringing and our influences and those bad habits. But the truth is, is that you are in control of your own life, and you do make decisions, and you do have good reasoning, and you need to come to a place where you know that you can form better habits, which is what we'll talk about next week. But this week, our focus is on breaking bad habits. Take some time, write them down, examine yourself, ask the right questions, look at the music you listen to, look at the things that you're watching, look at the things that you say, examine the things that you go through every day, the way that you respond to people, the people that are around you, right? And just remember, that you can break bad habits because you need to be doing the things and I need to be doing the things and we need to be doing the things that are going to aid to our success, aid to us moving forward, aid to us being all that we want to be and all that we want people to see us as, to know us as, because this is living to be known and that's what we do. So go out there and live to be known. Be focused, okay? Keep up with me. I'll have some blogs coming. We'll definitely have more going on. I'm glad to be back, and I hope that you're glad to have me back. Okay, it's your boy D-Rock Delroy Ballet. This is what we do. Living to be known. Four words Monday, 24. It's going to be a great year. We still have a lot more to go through. We got to make it to 52, y'all. But I'm ready, and I hope you're ready. I love y'all. Have a great day. Have a great week, and I'll see y'all soon. And I could point out all the things about how bad this life can seem, but we work hard, we making it for work, motion on everything.